want you to hit me as hard as you can. So collectors assemble for today's episode, which we're going to do a little different by sprinkling on some holiday cheer. Welcome to the Collector Corner Holiday Special. No matter what you celebrate around the holidays, better things to do. Christmas seems to reign supreme all over the place, starting nowadays after Halloween time every year. From Christmas commercials, Christmas specials, to Christmas branded everything. Wow! By the time January 1st rolls around, most of us are ready to pack it up and stow it away until next year. But you can't deny the overwhelming feeling of nostalgia Christmas always brings. Growing up as a kid, you always got excited about the new and cool gifts you could possibly find under the tree Christmas morning. So on today's show, we'll take a look at some of the great gifts that came out throughout the years which any collector was either lucky enough to get or even still has. Plus, we'll preview some of the cool gifts that you may be unwrapping this year or that you'll grab for that special someone this holiday season. Let's start with a journey back to gifts of Christmas past. We'll bet at least some of these iconic items were under your childhood Christmas tree. The Viewmaster. In 1939, Viewmaster was introduced at the New York World's Fair with slide reels showing scenic attractions and travel views. By the 1950s, they had acquired the rights to Disney characters and began offering slide reels of the Disney amusement parks and stills from Disney movies and TV shows. Lightbright. Lightbright was originally marketed in 1967. Lightbright was named one of the top 100 toys of all time by Time Magazine and was named a finalist for the class of 2020 induction to the National Toy Hall of Fame. Cabbage Patch Kids. The Cabbage Patch Kids were a line of soft sculpted dolls sold by Xavier Roberts and registered in the United States Copyright Office in 1978 as The Little People. The brand was renamed Cabbage Patch Kids when the dolls went into mass production in 1982. Care Bears The Care Bears were originally painted in 1981 to be used on greeting cards, but in 1983 the characters were turned into plushy teddy bears. Each Care Bear is a different color and has a special belly badge that represents its personality. Thundercats. Thundercat toys were based on the animated television series running from 1985 to 1989. One of the most remarkable and novel aspects of the Thundercat toys created by LGN was the presence of Battlematic Action. This feature made each toy perform a certain action when a lever on it was pressed, greatly increasing their playability and popularity among the children. Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin was born in 1985 and was the world's first animatronic toy. This adorable bear came alive and read you stories as a kid by placing a cassette in its back. This toy was a game changer for the time and was incredibly popular. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. During the run of the 1987 TV series, Playmates Toys produced hundreds of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures, along with vehicles, playsets, and accessories, becoming one of the top collectibles and toys for children during the mid-80s. WWF Wrestling Buddies Wrestling Buddies of the 1980s were made by Tonka and were large plush pillow dolls made to resemble big-name wrestlers like The Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man Randy Savage, Million Dollar Man, and Hulk Hogan. My Buddy and Kid Sister My Buddy was first introduced by Hasbro in 1985 as an oversized plush doll, almost two feet tall, marketed toward boys. This doll actually inspired the Chucky character in Child's Play. Later, Hasbro also introduced Kid Sister for girls. The Nintendo Entertainment System The NES is an 8-bit third-generation home video game console produced by Nintendo. As one of the best-selling gaming consoles of its time, the NES helped revitalize the U.S. video game industry following the video game crash of 1983. The NES was succeeded by the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The Talkboy Talkboy is a line of handheld voice recorders and sound novelty toys manufactured by Tiger Electronics in the 1990s. 
The Talkboy was originally conceived as a cassette recorder and player prop for the 1992 film Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Retailers had severely underestimated the demand, and as a result, the deluxe Talkboy was one of the most highly sought-after toys during the 1993 holiday shopping season, selling out all across America. Pog Milk Caps Milk Caps is a game that was popular among children during the mid-1990s. The game of Milk Caps was played on the Hawaiian island of Maui as early as 1927. Furbies Furby is an American electronic robot that was originally released in 1998 by Tiger Electronics. Catapulting demand during the 1998 Christmas period drove the resale price over $100 and sometimes as high as several hundred dollars. The Razor Scooter The Razor Scooter is a compact folding scooter. Over 5 million units were sold in the six months following the launch of the first Razor Scooter in 2000 and it was named as Toy of the Year that same year by the Toy Industry Association. The first electric Razor scooter was released in 2003. The BB-8 Droid Toy Robot The official September 4th, 2015 launch of all merchandise for The Force Awakens included a 4.5-inch tall mobile app-enabled BB-8 robot toy developed by Sphero. Disney CEO Bob Iger showed Sphero executives on-set photos and imagery of BB-8 before anyone outside of the production team knew of the robot's existence. In 2015, Sphero sold over 1 million units of the robot. Well, I hope you enjoyed that holiday trip down memory lane. Now let's turn to this year's holiday season and what would be a cool gift to either give or receive under the tree for all of you fellow collectors and cinephiles out there. The Goonies 4K UHD and Blu-ray Special Edition Gift Box. Hey you guys! To anyone that grew up in the 80s, The Goonies is a film worth owning, so why wouldn't you want a deluxe Special Edition Blu-ray set? Lord of the Rings Middle Earth 6 Film Limited Collector's Edition. With this incredible but pricey Collector's Edition Blu-ray and DVD set, you can have all six of the Lord of the Rings films in this beautiful display loaded with special features and extras. Batman Year One Deluxe Edition Hardcover Comic book fans, especially Batman fans, would absolutely love this hardcover version of Frank Miller's epic Batman Year One to add to their collection. A to Z Great Film Directors Why not celebrate some of your all-time favorite film directors with this cool illustrated book? Eat What You Watch Cookbook I really can't think of a cooler combination than films and food. This unique cookbook puts both of those things together. To any foodie or cinephile, this gift is a win-win. 100 Movies Scratch-Off Poster To any die-hard movie fan, especially someone who prides themselves on their film viewing history, this gift is a cool one. Allow them to scratch off the films they've seen on their list and display them proudly on their wall. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hero Click Set HeroClix has released its TMNT set to include in the HeroClix game universe. These cool game pieces come in handy within the game, plus they make for cool tabletop collectibles when not being used. Ghostbusters Plasma Series Spangler's Neutrona Wand For any avid Ghostbusters collector, this piece right here is a must-have. Full with precise screen detail, this prop wand could proudly sit on your shelf for all to gawk at. Stance Star Wars Galactic 4-Pack Socks May the force be with you along with warm toes. This set of stance socks is super cool and would be appreciated by any avid Star Wars fan. 8mm Retro Movie Reel Coasters For the movie fan that enjoys some around the house deco, these cool retro 8mm movie reel coasters could make a fun and unique gift. Movie Quotes Drinking Game why not have a little fun whilst taking in some holiday cheer this year by playing this Movie Quotes drinking game with some friends? See who is the sharpest at dropping the movie quotes while kicking back a drink, or two, or three, or four. Movie Ticket Stub Diary For anyone who ever liked collecting their movie ticket stubs, this gift is a great way to keep them all organized, as well as allowing you to jot down a few thoughts and memories that may have accompanied your movie-going experience. Finally, to wrap up the show today, we like to end with a little segment we call Show Us Your Shit. We wanted to see what all of you got sitting on your shelves at home. So we reached out to our fans and asked for you to send us videos and photos proudly displaying your coveted collectibles. So let's take a look at this episode's featured collection. A 
special thanks to Bears G, a.k.a. Joe Blow, out of Montreal, Canada. Favorite all-time game? Donkey Kong. Favorite all-time pinball machine? Deadpool. Best place you buy cool shit from? SideshowCollectibles.com How long have you been collecting cool shit? Started as a teen with hockey cards and comic books, graduated to small figurines from Marvel DC, then moved on to bigger statues slash busts from Sideshow Collectibles, and nowadays I love to collect real art slash sculptures and loving pinball lately as well. What's the favorite piece of your collection? I have a few, but the 8-foot Iron Man standing in the entrance of my home is probably the biggest eye-catcher. I also spent close to two years creating my Star Wars-themed Dagobah Aquarium, so that's another fave. What's the Holy Grail, the one item you don't have? I ordered the Big Lebowski pinball machine in 2015 and will apparently, finally, receive it in 2021. And anything you want to add or think we should know? There's an item in the video that is the puffy shirt from Seinfeld. That's the actual shirt used in the episode signed by the four cast members. It was purchased from an auction spot in Las Vegas. The hologram in the man cave is also very cool and allows you to upload any 3D rendered images to it. Thanks for the great tour, Bears. By the way, for those interested in all things arcade, video games, and pinball, our very own Joe Blow Movie Productions is executive producing an upcoming documentary called Arcade Dreams about the history of all of those things. A Kickstarter campaign has also been launched for those who would want to support this effort. Please check out the links on the screen and feel free to watch the trailer over at our sister channel, Joe Blow Movie Trailers. Well, that about brings us to the end of the show. If you would like us to cover any of your favorite toy lines, collectibles, or you just want to submit some pictures and videos showing off your shelves at home, you can do so by hitting us up at collectors at joeblow.com. I'm Tom Barilli, and thanks for watching, and have a happy holiday. Thank you for watching our show. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our Joe Blow video channel. Tell your friends who like this sort of content and turn on the bell to receive notifications for all our latest videos. We're an independent company and we appreciate all of your support.